So what is formal education background? Uh, I guess uh, a lot of people don't know what you're going to do right now. Uh, so I would say to UCLA in political science and then uh, Harvard Law School. Uh, so you don't have, uh, you wouldn't consider yourself an expert in sociology? I, I mean, I, I don't consider sociology a particularly expert field, but go ahead. I think I'm able to read a sociological study. So I know a lot less about welding than I do about sociology. What I'm getting at is that you're not considered an expert in sociology, psychology, gender studies, lesbian dance theory, many of these things that you brought up tonight. I know a lot more about all those others than lesbian dance theory. As far as if you want to take issue with the argument, I would urge you not to use the argument from authority, which is somebody has a PhD by their name, they know what they're talking about. That's a dumb argument. <laughs> what I'm trying to get at is the fact that do you have any other further education on any of these topics or any of these fields that I don't need to I don't need a, a seven year degree in sociology to pull into what I hear. slapping a PhD from Ferris State next to your name makes you an expert in all things in the field in which you propose to speak. Okay, the fact is that either my argument's good or my argument's bad. Citing to my credentials is a really bad way of making an argument. It's like the, it's actually the equivalent of, it's so funny, when people do this, it's the equivalent of actually a religious person saying, citing to the Bible for an argument. I'm a very religious person, right? I mean, see this? Yeah, I'm a religious person. Okay, I never cite to the Bible. The reason I don't cite to the Bible is because that's an argument from authority. Okay, you may not believe the authority to which I'm citing. I don't believe the authority to which you're citing. So you're going to have to make me an argument as to what I'm saying that's wrong instead of just saying I don't have a properly enumerated degree from the institution of your choice. I'm really citing academia. If you haven't done any significant study in any type of education, you know, aside from the fact that you programs, so how do you make uh, but qualified opinion on these topics is my question. Because I have read the studies and I can have an opinion on them. And that's your opinion and mine was just saying. Yes, that was my opinion.